Hello, Convention 2022 attendees. Welcome back to a live convention. We have all been waiting for this for a very long time. As we did in 2018, 2019, and Peacock 2019, we will again offer an online system for selecting classes. It will be open from June 6 to June 13, 2022. The system was tested at three conventions. It had a 90% participation rate, and it eliminated standing on long lines in the morning to get your class or classes. We encourage everyone to use the system because some of the classes will sell out prior to the convention. Also, you're guaranteed to get one of your top priority choices. So don't miss out, use this system. If you have difficulty, we have volunteers that can support you by email or phone. There'll be an opportunity on site to make changes to your class schedule for example, if you changed your mind about what classes you wanted to take, or you just didn't participate in the online selection process. We do hope that you try the system out. It's proven very effective at our previous conventions, and I think you'll really like it. So let's get started. First, make sure you're logged into your Origami USA account, as I am here. You want to register for Convention 2022. If you click on the menu and you see events, you will see Convention 2022. And you will click on it. It will take you to the Convention 2022 overview page. On the upper right hand portion, you will see a, menu, a drop down menu, which will lead you to all these um, choices. You can choose registration and register for convention. What we're going to talk about now is um, selecting classes. So once you're, you're on this overview page, um, we will start talking about how to uh, select your classes. But from this point on in the video, we're going to be showing web pages and schedules from the 2018 and 29 conventions. Um, the web pages have changed since those conventions, and they may look a little bit different than they do in the recording. Just make sure that you look at the choices, and the choices should all be the same. The format and the content may be a little bit different. Also, your browsing experience on a phone or a tablet will be different. The pages we want to look at for online ticketing are My Convention page, and then scroll over to My Classes. If you choose that, you will see a page that lists all the days you are registered to take classes at convention. As you can see, I'm registered for all three days, but I haven't yet requested any classes. The next page we want to look at is about classes. And if we scroll down and put our cursor over that, we'll see several options. One we want to look at now is taking classes. If I select that, it will open up to a page that will give me lots of information about the class request process. There are dates related to the class request process. There's questions, and there's information about after at convention if you are able to change your classes after you've requested them. The other thing, if you go back to the About Classes menu tab, you can also see ticketing, frequently asked questions. If you select that, you come to a page that has a lot of information about class tickets, class requests, um, anything that you might want to know about class requests. That's a good place to look at. The third menu item we're going to look at is class schedules. I know here we have four items that are very helpful. First are previews and downloads. 
Second is Saturday schedule, Sunday schedule, and Monday schedule. And we'll come back to those later. All right, let's talk now about how to make class requests. You want to make sure that you are on the home page and you go up to the My Convention tab and then over down to My Classes again. We'll bring up the page where you make your class requests. One of the things you can do is print out an annotated worksheet. If you click on that, it's going to take you to a page that gives you this uh, description and a worksheet. Uh, you can print this out and write down the classes that you're interested in, the start and end time, the day, and your preference number. And what we mean by preference number is which classes you absolutely really want. What is your top choice for the whole weekend? You also need to include any class that you're interested in because some of the classes may get filled before it's your turn to get chosen for classes. So we want to make sure that you put as many as you're interested. You need to cover each period of the day with several picks so that you will end up with as full a schedule as possible. Sort of as a rule of thumb, there should be at least 10 to 15 selections for each day. The more the better, there is no limit. Want to make sure that you end up with enough classes to fill your whole schedule. So that is what I did. I printed out the schedule, the, the worksheet schedule, and I filled in what I'm interested in taking. As you can see, this is the schedule for Saturday or my, pre my picks for Saturday. I haven't put my preferences in yet, and we can I'll talk to you about that later. But first, let me show you one way to request classes. I'm going to go ahead and go down to, under my name, I can look at all the classes and click on Request Class. This will bring up a page and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better, where you can type in the name of a class that you would like to add to your desired classes. And so the first way we can do it is just by typing in the name of the class. As you can see, I chose it by putting my cursor inside this long rectangle and clicking on it. And then that selected this so I know I'm able to, to type in. I'm going to look over here on my Saturday class list and I see one of my class choices is tree. So I'm going to start typing in tree. And if I just typed in tree, I see there's a whole list of a pull down that have tree in the name of the title of the class. Well, the tree I'm interested in was by Vivian Berte. So I'm going to put my cursor over that and it turns blue. When it turns blue, then if I click on it, that whole phrase will go inside this long rectangle. Once that happens, then what I want to do is make sure that I request it. Right now I haven't requested it yet. I just see it within my box. I can click on Request Class, and then I get a pop-up that says, the class tree has been added to my request list. That means I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to save, I don't have to submit. It's there and it's going to be there until I take it away. So if I look down on my list, I can see tree is there for all my classes, but tree is also there for my Saturday requ request class. The computer program has put it in both places. Now, it will stay there until I decide that if I don't want to take it again, I can always remove it. So I'm going to zoom in to show you how you do that. If I decide I don't want this, I can just click on Remove. And I get this, again, pop-up that tells me it has been removed. I don't need to save anything. It's removed. Now, until I do something else, like add it again. Right, that is the first way to make requests by typing into the class request box. 
There's a second way that you can request classes as well, and it's kind of a new and exciting way to request classes that we added this year. If you look on this page, you will see that it says you can choose from these classes. And if I click on Saturday, what will happen is a page will open up that gives us a schedule with pictures. It not only has pictures, but it tells us information about the teacher, the creator, um, lots of information. And from this page, you can directly request a class. So let me show you how it works. If I was interested in taking the butterfly, if I click on the butterfly, it opens a page that gives me a description and all the information, but it also gives me the ability to request this class. And it shows me here already, I have not requested it. So I can go ahead and click on it, request this class. When I do that, I will get a nice pop-up that tells me what I've just done. And it says that it has been added to my request list, but if my request list is open, I need to refresh or reload it to see the addition. So I will show you when I go back to my, um, oops, when I go back to my class request page, you will see that nothing showed up. So I have to go up here to the refresh button on my browser tab and click refresh. And then Marianne's Butterfly shows up in my whole list and my Saturday list. So if you're not familiar with how to refresh your page, on most, on most browsers, there, there is this little backwards arrow on one or either side of your bar here, and you just click it. The other way, on a Mac, you have to do Command-R, or on a PC, you would do Control-Function-5. Just make sure if it doesn't show up, that means you just have to refresh your page. All right, let's, so let's add some more. Let's go to Sunday's list. And here we have our schedule with pictures. You can also click on the title because sometimes there might not be a picture, just a title, especially for Monday classes. But we can click on sliding parts here. Look at it, make sure we want it, and then request request this page or this classics I'm sorry now we don't have to go back to our class request page we can just stay on this uh, schedule and do some more it's already added my sliding parts so let's say I want to go ahead and add a simple owl I'm going to click on it I'm going to see I haven't requested it yet so I'm going to request it now, I've requested two classes from, from the schedule. I'm going to go back to my class request page, and I'm going to go up here and refresh my browser. And look down here, now I have three classes that I have requested. And then the computer program has nicely put them on the days that I want, that they are scheduled. So that helps me see how many classes I have on each day. And it also helps me see how many I have requested overall for the convention. In addition to being add, able to add on the schedule that has pictures, we're able to remove. So if I'm on my class schedule and I decide, oh, I changed my mind, I don't want the butterfly. I click on it and I see I have requested it, but I'm able to remove it from my class request if I want. So I go ahead and click on that. 
and then I could either keep on adding or I could go back and remove. I can do everything from this class schedule with pictures, which is really nice. If I want to go back to my class request page, I see nothing has happened because I need to refresh now. Go ahead and do that. I see that my um, class for the butterfly has been removed. Now I've told you all the different processes, the hints, the tips for you to make class requests. I'm going to turn off my camera now and I am going to fill in my request in the interest of making this video shorter. I will come back in a minute and show you how to make your class preference choices. I'd like to show you about putting your classes in preference order. You may think, why do we want you to do that? That is because with this new ticketing process, we have a computer program that uses a round robin or NFL draft type of process. That means that everyone will be able to get one of their top choices throughout the weekend. So here we go. Here is how you do it. As you can see, I've added some classes to my class list. And around over here on the left hand side, you see what looks like plus marks. And I will zoom in. Plus marks with a little arrow on the end of each one. When you look at the individual days, we do not have the plus marks on the left hand side. We just have it on the whole class list because we're going to be dealing with our whole weekend. It doesn't matter which day you put as which day the class comes in. It could be a Saturday, it could be a Sunday, it could be a Monday class. For example, perhaps Origami Museum Roundtable is the class that I want the most out of the whole weekend. Even though it's a Monday class, I can put it at the top of my list because I don't want it to sell out. I want that by the time the round robin gets to me, that perhaps that class will still be open and I can get it. So how am I going to move that up to the top of my list now that it's all typed nicely in a row? What I want to do is move my cursor over to that plus sign and I'm going to find the class I want, Origami Museum Roundtable, and I will put my cursor over that plus sign. And then you see my cursor becomes this big plus sign. And when it's over, I will click and I will start dragging it up. And you can see as I go, it moves slowly up and I can put it in the first position. Now, I get a pop-up that tells me Changes will be made in, made in this table will not be saved until the form is submitted. What that means is you have to save preference order. Unless you do that, this will not be saved. When you close out your browser, you come back, it will not have saved the preference order. We want to make sure that when we make changes in this preference order, we click on Save Preference Order. Now the pop-up goes away and my preference order is saved. So you want to make sure that you do that when you make these changes in these orders. This will be the only time you really need to use this button is when you work on the preference order. You don't need to save at any other time during this process. Everything is automatically saved once you make a request. So let's try that again. I think I will move lighting origami up to my second choice. And I put my cursor on and I click and I move it up. I get my pop-up warning that says I need to save my preference order. I click on it and then it is saved. We can do it both ways. If we decide we want to move something down, for example, if I want to move Marianne's butterfly, down below another one. I can put my cursor, click, and drag. And I can drag it to any position that I want it to be in. 
All right, now as you can see, I did not pay attention to my pop-up. I need to save preference order. Again, on this page, we can go ahead and do some other things. We can remove, if you look on the right-hand side of the menu bar, you have remove signs. You can go ahead and click on remove if you want to remove a certain class. I get a pop-up that tells me it's been removed from my class list. These green pop-ups tell us things have been done and we don't need to do anything else. It is complete. We don't need to save. Um, the only time we need to save is when we change the preference order. All right, now I'm back again and the class schedules have been processed and my schedule has been determined by the computer program. So I'm going to show you how we can find our class schedule once the processing has taken place, which will happen on, and you can find out that by going to About Classes, Taking Classes, and if we look at dates, we see that you can request classes from June 3rd to June 10th. On June 10th, the request class period will be closed and they will start processing class assignments. On June 13th, you should be able to see what classes you have been assigned to. So let's pretend all that has happened, which has had in our pretend environment. And I'm going to go to my, my classes again. And I will see that now I don't have requests anymore. I actually have a schedule. I did a pretty good job because I have class for 10, 11. Then there's a lunch break, two to three. Um, same thing on Sunday. It looks like I have filled up all my time periods. So I did a pretty good job of putting enough classes in to fill up my schedule. If for some reason you did not put in enough requests and you end up having a gap, say at 11 o'clock you don't have a class, there will be a system at the convention we can go try to add or drop classes that are still available. So you can read about that online. There's lots of explanation about that under our About Classes page, Taking Classes. It can explain about on-site ticketing, about priority ticketing, how you can get better priority numbers so that you can get your top picks more easily. This is the end of our quick tutorial. I hope it has helped you give you an overview on our class request process. You will get a hard copy printout of your schedule when you register at convention. Hope to see everyone at convention and happy folding.